Matt here with Life Prospector, and I'm going to show you my rig this morning. I lived in my vehicle for roughly the last six months, running low on battery right now, so hopefully we can get through this. Well guys, this is my truck right here. I've been living in it for the last six months. Probably for the last month and a month and a half I haven't been living in it. I've been, I was out in Idaho and California. I'll show you a little bit about, a little bit about it and my lifestyle, how I lived in it. First, I'm rolling on 285,000 miles right now. I've taken this truck out on the road for the last six years. It's a pretty simple, basic, standard pickup truck, V6, 4.3 in it. And I added this this year because I needed a cooler, but it ended up being a really nice armrest, and I just used, I just put storage in there and stuff. Now, there were a few plus nights where I ended up sleeping in here. I'd take this out, of course, right here and slide it underneath the truck and prop a pillow up against the other door over there. And it wasn't really the worst thing in the world, but it definitely wasn't the best thing in the world. And I'll show you the reason why I did that. But before I do that, I'll show you one of the best things that I had this year. This is my first season with it. First year going out with a battery pack. And that's something that uh, it really came in hand. And the cool thing about that is I was able to use my inverter right here and I was able to charge this back up. And this has a few plus options on it. It has a jumper pack. It has some outlets, uh, air pump on it. I can run my hair clippers off of it, give myself a haircut. This is where I would keep all my food right back here. I had it all cleaned up. Had to go buy a new jack a few months ago due to my other one stripped out. That was a quite the experience on the road. But usually I just keep, I got some toe straps underneath the seat here and stuff. Usually I'm keeping my, I have my toolboxes set right up here when I'm out traveling. I'll show you the part of the truck where I spent most of the time at. I'd have a lawn chair out here. I usually hang out. And then I, I live out of here. I got my little loft up here. My first year building that. Going with that. And it really wasn't too bad. It's got a little bit of, not a lot of room up there to sit up. But uh, you can definitely stretch out when you're sleeping. And it did a good job. Got my tent right there. And I bought that because I had an experience where I couldn't get up a hill. Which is why I'm looking for a 4x4 for my next vehicle. I'm wanting to go with an Astro van, all wheel drive, but that's not a true 4x4. So I have mixed feelings about that right now. Yeah, I had all my gold mining equipment underneath here. Had my gold dredge underneath here. My sluice box right here. Not the original sluice box that I started the season with. I got caught up in some high water and uh, it kind of took some of my equipment away. But anyways guys, I really enjoy living, living on the road. And there's things that I look to improve to do this year or next time I go out. I'm not quite sure when that's going to be. I wish I could be out on the road right now, but uh, financially I can't be. I got to get some things straight again. I'd like to get a shower. And this will probably be the last year. I'm not sure I'll take this truck out on the road again due to the miles are getting kind of high at 285,000. I'm not real scared about that. I'm more or less, I need a 4x4 after being stuck at the bottom of a hill and I couldn't get out of a situation where I really need a 4x4 and just doing a little bit of off-roading, it's time for upgrade. I've had this truck for the last probably nine, since I've been 21, 21 years old I've been driving this and I'm 30 now. Usually keep personal items like toothbrush and stuff, I'll either have them down here with my shaving cream and usually I have my toothbrush and toothpaste in there. Well, hey guys, I mentioned earlier that I ended up sleeping inside of my cab. And I did that towards the end of the trip for the reason that this right up here is fiberglass. When it gets into the colder season, what I found out is it drips moisture down. And uh, that's no fun at all. So that's kind of another reason that I like to get a van. I could insulate all the walls here. I could insulate the ceiling. And I could get it all set up kind of more permanently. I'd probably do the bed setup like this still in the van and still have the bottom storage. But I'd probably put a little chair in the back somewhere and probably hang a little flat screen on the wall, watch movies and uh, whatever not. Just kind of personalize it to my setup. 
into my favor. Well guys, I kind of had to rush that video due to my camera was running low on battery. I think I got pretty much everything covered in there. Now as far as cooking and food and everything, I just use a one a little one burner propane stove from Coleman. Now I'm, I am looking to make some changes in the future as far as that kind of stuff goes. But it's really pretty simple. I didn't have a refrigerator. I've always just ate canned food and food that I don't have to keep in the cooler. But that's definitely something that I'm going to change in the future. I'm really interested. I've seen a lot of those, I think, CF-18 refrigerators out there. Those little refrigerators that look like a cooler. Pretty decent size inside. And you can run them off a fairly cheap solar system. So I'm looking to get into solar and get some refrigeration. And the reason that I want to go with the van is because it's a little bit more stealthier than the truck. Uh, well, the truck's pretty stealthy, but I don't like having to get out in the middle of the night or wherever wherever I'm at to go hang out in the back or to get into go get in the back to sleep at night. It would be much better, much easier, and more stealthy, and just more livable, more comfortable. I think. To be in a van, and I've been wanting to be wanting to be in a van for quite a few years now. Uh, the only thing about the van is it's pretty hard to get a cheap 4x4 van. So I'm looking at getting an Astro van and doing a true 4x4 conversion because they have the all-wheel drive Astro vans, but that's still not a true 4x4. It doesn't have the high and low gear, and you know, like I said earlier, you can get an Astro van pretty cheap with decent amount of miles on it. I know the engine in it already. But with that being said, you're still not buying a vehicle with a true 4x4 in it that's ready to roll. So there's ups and downs and I'm kind of thinking all that out right now. And I have to get some funds again going and I may have to work somewhere for a full solid year. Uh, just living life guys right now and making plans for the future. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And talk to you later.